Yeah, it is indeed. Uh, Jackie, thank you very much. I, I, I've got my friend Jack Brewer joining us right now. Of course, the NFL player, and superstar. Uh, but, you know, to know Jack and what he does, you almost forget the football stuff because he does a lot of good. And he's helping right now, as we speak, to uh, feed a lot of kids uh, in, in places like Florida and elsewhere um, who, in the middle of this, are going hungry. Jack, it's always good to see you. How you doing? Man, you know what? Neil, I gotta be honest, I'm tired, man. It's uh it's been a long week of just trying to get aid to to so many people, um, both here in the US and, and abroad. You know, there's so many folks that you forget about that are affected uh, by this virus. And you know, we you know, we fed over a thousand kids uh last week. We sent enough food supply for them uh for two months uh over in Haiti. Uh right now we're feeding over fifteen thousand kids a day uh in Malawi, Africa. And these places are so uh, they're, they're confused and they're scared and they don't have the resources that we do. Um, and we're also feeding kids here. You know, I've been a part of the National Police Athletic League and police athletic leagues across the country. Uh, and so now we're feeding all the kids in the West Palm Beach, uh, PAL. Uh, we're, we're last weekend, we had a food drive there uh, with Feeding South Florida to help them. You know, it's been incredible to see companies uh, like Anthony's Pizza just gave me a call uh, and they're giving away 10,000 pizzas to try to feed the kids down mm -hmm. here in South Florida. And so on and on again, you know, you just see the the the, the private sector stepping up. Uh, you know, I've been I've been tasked by my good friend Mike Lindell. I'm I'm leading the task force for Mike Pillow right now. Uh, and we're just yeah, calling right. on these sure. companies. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we're calling on these companies and businesses, man, to start protecting your workers. You walk into these stores across the country, folks aren't wearing masks. You know, people aren't being supplied with enough uh, hand sanitizer. So we're just calling up on the nation right now. Folks, let's let's get smart about this. Let's start sanitizing our hands. Let's start using masks. Uh, and we're trying to do what we can. You know, it, I was thinking of your state, what's happening in Florida right now, where they're, 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 they just instituted, some say very late, um, this stay-at-home thing. How do you feel about that? You know, I think it's needed. Um, you know, people go back and forth on, you know, whether or not you should be outside. I think you should be able to go outside. But at some point, Neil, uh, when you look at China, South Korea, these other places, there's a reason why the, the mass public are wearing these masks and protecting themselves. I think psychologically, uh, it, it makes you more cautious. Uh, and that's always a good thing. But I understand that we are we are in a, in a crisis right now because a lot of folks can't get these masks. Uh, I tell you what we're doing with the My Pillow Task Force. You know, right now we're producing over 20,000 uh, masks a day in in house, uh, but we're getting so many calls, and so you know we're trying to uh, also help companies procure masks uh, from other places. And you know, it's just been really revealing for me the last five or six days to see so much need in America. I mean, small towns are calling uh, that don't have any oh, masks yeah. to protect the workers. People calling from police departments and, you know, hospitals, children, cancer centers calling us needing masks because they're, they're not being able to protect these sick babies. And it just breaks your heart. You know, I have no doubt because of the efforts like you're taking and so many others to, to help people out that we'll get through this whole coronavirus thing. But I don't know if it's going to, to be immediate. Uh, one of the things I worry about, Jack, is that even if people are told, or you go back, to restaurants. I don't know if they'll crowd into them. I don't know if they'll crowd into theaters. I don't even know if they'll go uh, and fill stadiums. And I'm wondering, thinking of you and, and the, the NFL, and I know they've they've expanded their season a little bit, or the, 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 the wild card plays and all that, but as far as filling those seats in those stadiums, at least at the beginning, as soon they get off without a hitch, you know, right around Labor Day, um, I, I bet a lot of those stadiums aren't full. I agree. I think we're going to have to change a lot of the things that we do, you know, and from the protocols that people take uh, to go into places. I think sanitization in our country will be taken much more serious going forward. And you talk, think about going to an NFL game. You know, I just think about the guys in the locker room first before you get to that game. These guys got to be playing and in in practicing against each other, sweating and, and tackling right. and, and being in that environment. So it's, it's, it's really, you know, it makes you wonder, will the NFL be able to even have a season this year? And I don't think any of us know. Uh, and so I think it's, again, I think it's really important. And that's why, you know, with the My Pillow Task Force, we are begging people, please start considering these long-term protocols and changes and so we can take this thing seriously. You know, when I, I walk into a Walmart or, or Whole Foods, you know, I'm scared to death because you see so many people still crowded in these stores and there's really no sanitation right. procedures 
met other than giving you a hand wipe at the door. So I think we really need to take this more serious, Neil. I think you're right. I feel a lot safer if I was just walking around the store with you, though. I mean, I, 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 I'd get over my fear, but uh, we'll see what happens. Jack, thanks for all the good you're doing. You could be sitting on your money and ignoring the world, and you're doing anything but. It's, it's always so inspirational. Thank you very much. Look, Neil, glory to God, man. Like Mike said the other day, nation, let's get around our Bibles, let's pray with our kids, and we can get through this together. We can and we will. Jack, thank you again so much. All right, uh, a quick peek at the corner.